what's going on guys visor here and yes i do sound a little bit different this is a actual this isn't my gaming uh 3d post headset that i normally use for my um gameplay this is my um actual this is a actual recording microphone that i use for discord um so tell me how you tell me how it sounds down in the description below <clears throat> tell me if i should go back to the 3d post i only really use a 3d post because it's it's obviously it's i can hear more and the audio is more clear than it is for like a normal headset so that's why i use the 3d post but besides that um i most likely will start using this mic more when it comes to like recording gameplay and shit like that so but in this video we're gonna be um doing a tryout okay this is a tryout video the team is for rakuzan high and a the description for the team will be down below in the description if y'all want to try out for this team um the tryout i had fun but towards the end you guys can't hear me throughout all this gameplay i have my mic muted um that's another reason why um i'm gonna be doing some a little bit of over um overlay commentary so you guys can you know know what's going on have some type of you know way to hear me at least you know right but like towards the end things started getting heated because they quote unquote said that we're taking too long to do a throw in and they just took the ball and played it and i ended up going in their vc and started talking some shit obviously can't hear it but shit got basically shit got heated right and towards the end i had a lock in and i wasn't about to lose i took the tryout more serious than i should have basically i shouldn't have um got that mad and heated and started talking shit but at the end of the day the leader said it was fine you know it was cool and shit um i wasn't talking shit to the leader i was just you know talking shit to the team to the other team basically but yeah but yeah if y'all like this type of content where i like i talk over the gameplay and i give my little like little like nip bits you know of like me speaking on like a play that i made or something that happened in the game let me know down in the comment section down below i'll most likely do more stuff like this you know Also, if you guys are wondering what build I'm using, I am using the King Pedrai build. Honestly, I think this might be my main build for like a good amount of time until they add like another weapon or until I like lose interest because I don't know, King Pedrai is just such a fun combination. It's like it's like Pedrai awakens King and now you can just like do a lot more than take it like taking a gamble shot for the goal or trying to do dribbling you can actually shoot the ball you know it's actually a really good weapon now especially with the predator eye um some people have been saying you know use ambidextrous use golden zone ambidextrous you're relying too much on shooting with with the correct foot and then with golden zone you have to be in a certain spot to actually get the golden zone compared to the predator eye no matter what or what situation or what per what like any type of situation you're in you're gonna when you fully charge your kick or when you go for a kick um you're gonna get the predator eye it's gonna pop it's gonna proc and you're gonna get that enhanced straight kick that you want most of the time like right here i'm pretty sure he passes it to me yeah um this is a good pass jump i got through i think i kinged here yep yeah and yep easy goal just like that 
that's all you have to really do with king you you get into the box once you're in a in a situation where you're in a 1v1 with the gk the shot basically becomes unblockable you basically play like how bar would play with the with predator eye like in the manga he'll wait for gk to just move or he'll just hesitate his shot and just like delay it that's exactly what you're gonna do with king predator eye because the shot is just so fast it's like extremely fast to the point where it's really hard to actually like react to it. it's 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 basically an unreactable shot especially if i'm right in front of gk no gk is like blocking a king shot like that like right here too nah right here was bad yeah i i i messed up on the uh flick or the put flick back and then i took a shot and he somehow blocked that i think he had long legs when he blocked that but yeah he somehow blocked it and i kind of got cooked here um i think i got cooked like two more times after this and i had to like lock in Also, I want to talk about that green guy on defense. I forgot his name. I'm sorry to disrespect. This that was a bad pass, but yeah, sorry to disrespect. I forgot your name, but you played really good in this trial. I'm not gonna lie, you did like really good, uh, especially for defense. The team was really lagging on defense, and you 100% carried on defense. Offense, I could definitely say that I, me, and some other person that got on the field, he he gets on the field later. He ends up um, scoring like three sword screw shots. Um, he also helped with the offense. Just those two players themselves, they actually uh, helped a lot in offense. So that's another issue right there with like using King. Um, so with King, I realized you can only do the jump on the third stride. So it would do one, two, or I should say the fourth stride. It'll be one, two, three, four. And on the fourth stride, you're able to jump. If you just do like an instant king, like off the first stride, you're not gonna get the um you're not gonna be able to jump. Right here, this is OS. Yeah, I didn't I wasn't paying attention. And my teammate he obviously could see I don't think my teammate knew the rules or knew how to play soccer or knew like soccer as a whole and how it works, but in his perspective, he could definitely see that I'm OS. In my perspective, obviously you can see it. I didn't ask for a pass there either. Obviously, you guys you guys can hear me, but I didn't ask for a pass there. He just passed it and passing and he passed it knowing that it was OS. I don't really get that. But you know. I passed it back to him because he's just like the he's the only one that's really like open most of the time and he's not really that good when he is open he doesn't I, i'm pretty sure he had a reptile but he just wasn't reptiling for some reason so we just had to like bear with him just kind of like not playing that well and shit but yeah like i was saying with the king stuff um only all off the fourth stride can you uh jump with king i realize you can't do off the first or second or third it has to be off the last stride and then you could jump also you can't pass the dot obviously some people say you can't even touch the line um where the dot is at or is considered ill i don't know if you guys do know please let me know down below um that would really help me with like me practicing spacing for when i should use king but to the most part I got down like where I'm best suited to use king anywhere in the middle or left or left wing um right wing is not that good for me I will have to look a certain way for me to use a right wing or I might just play right wing more for me to get used to it but right now I got a good understanding of where to use it for the left and middle
right there that's another example of what i mean he kind of just like overpasses it like and then he ends up like giving it to the opposite team which obviously is a tryout i'm not expecting him that perfect passes but i don't he does that a lot in this um tryout so Okay, so yeah, I was see, yeah, see him. He makes that good ass play with Racious Surf. Uh, I don't know his build, but um, that combination is pretty good. So what happened here though was yeah, so right there, yeah, see it hit the post, and then a defender got it, but then a defender gave it a GK, but the ball is still in play. So GK just hold, yeah, see, so it didn't go out it just hit the bar so i me i thought the ball was out gave it a gk let them have it right i forgot that it has to go out for it to be actual like actually gks and um we just like i don't know we just like forgot so my teammate takes it from gk and scores it and then that counts as a goal if you're ever confused on that whole situation So right here he's about to use king right so this is not a bad king usage the issue is that he's 5-3 trying to use king as like a winging as a way to wing yes you could do that because i do it too i use it as a way to get myself open so i could pass it to the other wing or someone in the middle or something right but he's 5-3 and it's not like he has good dribbles to be like doing that I'm on see, that was a good shot. I'm on console using King and I'm height dribbling. And the reason why I height dribble is because height dribble, believe it or not, is is a lot more safer than trying to like um trying to flick dribble or uh that was a bad king shot. Or it's better than trying to flick dribble or like what's it called? Uh uh chop dribble or air chop dribble you know it's it's a lot safer than that because if you kick the ball no matter what you can't instantly jump for the ball and try to beat someone to it you have the time to jump so if i kick the ball a bit in front of me to like a zone where i want a king the ball is still in my possession i can just run under the ball slightly jump click king and then i'm in my position where i wanted to start the king animation and i get into the box and i get the king shot and i'm in a we're going with the gk you see what i'm saying like there's a lot that goes into it when kind of comes to high driven compared to like actually just trying to do um flick dribbling plus chop dribbling or something like it, it's not worth it or i wouldn't say it's not worth it it's a lot more safe to just do uh air dribbling or chest dribbling i should say
See now this is a perfect example of what I mean with this guy, right? He has the freest lane and he just sees someone that's slightly on me and he's like, nope, I'm not gonna pass it. And it's like Bro, if I would've just got he could just send me a nice high ball, I would chest drop it, bring it back to middle, once again kick it back up, get into my zone where I wanna use the king, king it, and that would have been a free goal. But it's him hesitating and him just like not knowing really what to do as a winger. Another thing I like to say is that we're in a surfing meta right now. Um, surfing is being used by all teams, league teams, scrim teams, because they added where it's the old IQ plus the new surfing, basically. You could do the horizontal slides, which is super busted. Like the shit has the fast hitbox and it's pretty active. And then you have the, um, you have the vertical defense for uh serpent where any incoming balls or any like nagi players or any height dribblers you could just boom sit right in front of them surfing kind of shit on them right um they're i feel like they're gonna nerf the weapon the, the weapon should be nerfed it shouldn't be that good to be honest um that's just my personal opinion uh, that's just what i think i should say um that they should nerf the weapon hopefully they do in my opinion, the weapon isn't broken. It's just that when you do the slide, the, in my opinion, the slide should affect the cooldown. You should have a cooldown for the slide. Um, you shouldn't be able to just spam the slide anytime. Like, I'm not saying you're able to spam it, but the slide should have a longer cooldown. Like, or if you use the slide while like Iku's on cooldown or while Surface on cooldown, it adds a cooldown or something. Or you just can't use the slide while a Surface on cooldown. Something like that. Like. Do you, like act, make it act somewhat balanced. Don't just make it where you can just do anything you want with surfing. Like. Right here, I was so frustrated because. My sir, my predator eye was super close to coming back, and right there, I don't know what happened. Like the ball didn't follow me. It's because I had my um screen locked. That's why. So the ball didn't like go in the direction I was looking. The ball just went like it just went in the direction my character was facing. So that's why the ball did that. Right here, I think I went for like a, a yeah uh high dribble. Obviously, it got snuffed. 
I kick it over. He takes it. My teammate takes it back. I think he sends it back to my side one last time. Or it just ends up on my side. I, for, I, I think he tries to do something. It gets blocked. Yeah. Yep. Teammate takes it. I take it back. And then I go for height dribble. Right? Yep. And then I... Nice little header in, you know? Yes, sir. Stop playing. But for that play, if I had Predator Eye, I probably wouldn't have done... Uh, I probably wouldn't have delayed my shot. Because right there, I delayed my shot because I forgot how high I need to aim for um King... For the king shot to actually go win because it's not straight at all without predator eye it's pretty like it's pretty slow and it's not a good shot to be honest but speaking of predator eyes um predator eyes it is a buff like but only for certain weapons i feel like they should re like they should change the little multiplier for the cooldown for certain weapons like kinigami it shouldn't have it should have a three times you know cooldown for something like king and like imp shots that are basically guaranteed anyways i don't know about king king isn't a guaranteed shot that well, it depends on the user but Something like Imp, Imp, that's a guaranteed shot. Kuni is never a guaranteed shot. The fact that it could basically become a guaranteed shot with King, I feel like at that point, yeah, it could use some tuning. Like, yeah, I would keep the three times multiplier on it. Right here, did I pass or did I keep it? I pass. Yeah, I could just open all of them. Okay. Um, but yeah, King, it should, in my opinion, it should be half the three times. It should be a 1.5 times the cooldown of your weapon. Um, or it should be 1.5 times the, uh, your weapons cooldown. now. That's what I should say. Kuni, it should stay three times. And honestly, Imp, if you're using Predator Eyes on Imp, you're kind of just wasting a, um, trace slot. You don't need Predator Eyes on Imp. Unless you're just trying to goof off and shoot cross, like, out-of-box goals of Imp. Besides that, you don't need Predator Eyes with Imp. It's not, it's not needed at all. Um... Another thing is like, um, a lot of people in Discord talk about my playstyle, um, or some people at least. They talk about how I just kind of like sit back or sit up or something, and they just like I just wait for a pass. For me to play King and help the defense, you know how much of a like, how like how dumb that is. Like, why would I go back and help the defense? And like, what if I get the ball? I'm on console against like four three four offensive players trying to steal a ball back for me why would i deal with that if i could just stay up as the striker stay up in the middle or 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 on their side of the field wait for a pass get in a position where i can use king and then score it makes no sense anytime you're put as striker there's a reason they want you or even as a forward as a winger you could go help the defense 
but you're not really supposed to do that like you're honestly just supposed to um just sit up and just help your striker or just help get up the field right here this was nasty got got past that guy just delayed my shot perfect and like i said you can't react based off the sound for that shot or you can't react just using your eyes you, you it's kind of a guess you just have to hope you block it basically or just time it correctly or if the king user is dumb they shoot right into you basically So right now, right, so there's the guy that's in front of me to my left, right? He's the guy that's always open on the left wing. I don't trust his decision making and the fact that he's not trying to like move around to where I could get a better pass angle. Yes, I'm 6'3". I don't feel confident enough to pass anywhere in that area. The guy that's far in the middle, he does end up moving into the box. But once again, I'm 6'3". I don't even think I could pass that far to that side of the map, like into the middle of the box. I don't even think I could do that. Then one of them tries to move up and help. And then he was like, no, let me take the free kick. And I'm like, all right, let me take the throw in, I should say. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. But aren't you like 5'3", sword school, empty? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, how is this really going to work? Because I don't think, I don't even think you could pass it from that far with that. So we're in like a little like square of just like not knowing like who should we pass it to what should we do so he tries to take it and we're just like trying to figure it out and granted it hasn't been like right now it's been about like 30 seconds a couple seconds like 20 seconds i should say and they just take the ball they he's trying to take it he's trying to throw it in and then start playing like that like just like that and it's like bro what are you doing i go in your vc i start like telling them like are you are y'all dumb why are y'all taking our throwing and it's like you guys are taking too long bro we had the ball for like 20 25 seconds like that's like what do you like what are you calling like like what, what is it a call like what do you like i don't get it like and you don't just take the ball you call ill or you call stall you don't just take it like I don't I don't get why they did that. That shit that shit actually pissed me off. They started talking shit. Right here he got the ball. Um the guy that was talking shit, he was the king user. I'm pretty sure uh he's the white guy. That's in the white fit, I'm pretty sure. He missed the formless, we get the ball back. Um he has a free lane. I think it's the ball taken here though. He passed it to he overpassed it. Well he didn't overpass he his uh target wasn't me basically to me is trying to prep for a shot i don't know what shot this is it gets blocked so right now the person that has the ball he was the shit talker or he was the one that's talking shit he said watch me make this shot right now i'm gonna score on y'all he gets his king shot blocked and then he hits a tap in. I'm like, okay, whatever. 
you you didn't deserve that shot at all. You're 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 not good, right? This guy, I don't know who this guy came from. This shadow user, I don't know where he came from. If you're on shadow, you could play offense, but if you don't know how to like do like perfect, like if you don't have someone that knows how to do good through passes, and you don't know how to use shadow that well, just stick to defense or shadow. Right here, we get a pass. Teammate's kind of running away from the ball, and then it's just a bad pass. I, I was kind of getting irritated here because it's nine eight, and the ball still on our, are still on our side, and. They have like three amp users. They have a reptile, planet hotline. They have too many like shooting options. And I'm like, okay, bro. We ain't gotta get this ball off of our side. Team finally gets the ball, doesn't kick it. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Just, I trust the defense. I mainly trust the green dude. He's locking down that one player pretty well, which is kind of to steal me right here. I go to help the defense because I really don't want to lose to these guys. I'm like, okay. We're chilling. Just keep managing my stamina. Keep praying. Boom. Instantly slide in. I kick it up. Don't kick it up far enough. He kicks it back. I kick it right back up. And now we're up. Where the ball's out of our side. I have no stamina here. So it's just dumb. These guys up here. I don't keep kings. Which is good for me. Because that means. Yep. We get the ball back. We still have the ball up. Yep. Still have the ball. I think he sends it. Yep, but I think it hit a. Um, yep, we got it back on defense. I think I got this one. Yeah, no, no, my teammate did. He got that. I was gonna act. I was gonna extra right pass middle, but this guy, the sword screw user, he's an egoist. Honestly, he's not the best sword screw. Yeah, he hit those good sword screw shots, but on a real GK, he's not hitting those shots like that. Passes it middle or not pass. He tries to sword screw in middle, overshoots whatever i'm like okay i, I don't I don't care right where we just i trust the defense right gk shoots it i'm like oh straight to me right appreciate that boom king right in both defenders out of the equation boom instant shot top left bin stop playing right now i'm right here i'm like okay boom i'm gonna score this last shot too watch watch me we get the ball we start cutting through the deep the, the defense right he shadows through he passes it left. I leave the ball. I could have went and just dropped it, but I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna leave it. The guy on my team says to cross it. He's 5'3, he can't cross it that far. Boom. Go for the jump shot. Easy goes. 10 9. I go back in their VC. I wish I recorded it, bro. I go back in their VC. I start talking so much shit, bro. It's not even funny, bro.